Hi guys, and welcome to my Get Ready With Me. This is my first uh, video on my YouTube channel. This is going to be a all things like beauty YouTube channel, and I just want to talk makeup with somebody, basically. That's why I'm starting it, where I don't have a lot of family and friends who could talk makeup for hours like I can, so I just wanted to start a YouTube channel so I would have somebody to talk to. My goal is to make this like super throwback old school YouTube style videos just super chill. What do you need to know about me? I'm a mom of an almost two year old, two in January. I am a wife. I've been married for three years. In June it was three years. And I'm Catholic. And that, that's pretty much it. And I love makeup. Anyway, so let's get started. Let's get ready with me. So anyway, so I'm holding backwards. I'm new to YouTube. <laughs> this is Murad um, SPF. I believe it's SPF 45. Yeah. So that's already on my face. And then this is like the second time I started, sorry I'm looking up, um, started filming this. So I already put on my Smashbox Photo Focus Primer. I don't know if that's focusing. It's the first time I'm using this camera. It's my husband's. And then I'm going, I put that everywhere. Especially under my eyes because I really like that primer for I'm looking up again. Okay. I really like that primer for just smoothing things out under my eyes. I've got the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This stuff is so good. This is great for pores. Oh, I didn't show you. For pores. <laughs> I said that. A beauty YouTuber holding stuff up. So I just kind of put it in spots I have a little bit of pores. I didn't get pores. Oh, I forgot to say I'm 25. I didn't get pores until I turned 25. And then FBF. Yeah. SPF is peeling on my nose. Okay, I didn't get pores till I turned 25. I literally had like no um, deep set pores or anything. And now I have pores. Lovely. Otherwise, my skin's pretty good. Um, so then the next thing I would do, and sometimes I switch out my like photo focus primer. I love the Bare Minerals. That's a really good one. And the e.l.f., of course. And then the photo focus. Those are like my top three. And then I have my classic Tarte Shape Tape. Now, I'm really fair, so I use Ultra Creamy 8B Porcelain Beige. And this is literally um, my, most people I know, my family's like holy grails too. So, I don't always put um, makeup like all over. I forgot to wet my beauty sponge and I already started this. A million times so I'm just gonna dump it in my glass of water and obviously not drink out of this water ay, ay, ay. okay I'm new at this <laughs> so I don't always do foundation like most of the time I just use concealer and I just put it in like a few spots to kind of brighten things up because I do like my freckles um and I don't feel like I need full coverage so I'll still do like a total smoky eye but I won't necessarily have like a full coverage foundation so anyway so I put all the concealer in the spots that I want to conceal and I do my eyes last just because it kind of sometimes if you let your concealer sit it gets a chance to like become more emollient that's what I think anyway I don't know I could be wrong so I will layer like more on this concealer in a minute and I just like to bring it up under my eyebrows and on my eyelids to kind of give it a you know blurred you know concealed you're not gonna see my veins because I am very fair I'm pulling down a little bit because I do have like a little wrinkle there I think most people do if you don't congratulations <laughs> I'm jealous okay so also, I haven't done uh, makeup on camera before. Um, I did do makeup before for a client of mine who wasn't, um, well, I guess she was a makeup client in the end. But anyway, she was, I used to be an electrologist. It's hard doing makeup and talking at the same time. Yikes. Um, I used to be an electrologist before I had my daughter. Where is my eyebrow pencil? You're actually on top of my case here that I normally keep my makeup in so I'm gonna start my eyebrows I do my eyebrows like a little different 
Um, some people are going to probably tell me I'm wrong for doing them this way, but this is how I like to do it. Sometimes I don't even do them. If I use a pencil, I'm using the Trace Loose Hello Brows uh, Dual Ended Micro Brow Pencil. So I like the small end. Not the thick end, because the thick end's like a little triangle. I'm not about that. I mean, I'll use it because I'm not going to waste it. But I start from the bottom and I go up. Anyway, I'll finish my story. <laughs> You'll get used to me if you subscribe. My train of thought's like everywhere. But I always circle back, so don't worry about it. Um, so she was a client for my electrolysis uh, business. I was an electrologist. And I might have like 50 times. <laughs> and she would be like, oh, I love your makeup, blah, blah, blah. Because I always did full glam for work and everything. Dress up a little bit. And she was like, can you do my makeup for a little, like, commercial, promo commercial she was filming for a book she wrote? So I was like, yeah, if you want me to, but I'm not, like, a super professional. Like, I've done makeup for, like, people for, like, a couple dances, for a couple weddings, like, wedding guests and stuff. Family, little cousins, of course. I did a whole girl's birthday party. <laughs> I was 13, 12 or 13 little girls. Full glam on all of them. Glitter eyes on all of them. Oh my gosh. That was hours straight of doing that. It was so much fun. The little faces were so cute, but it took forever. Anyway, so I was like, I'm not a professional, but if you want me to do it, I'll do it. So I kind of gave her a little tutorial on how she could do her makeup to look good in her video. And then I ended up doing it for her actual video she was filming for her book. And yeah, it came out really good. Um... Yeah, I don't know how I got on this. Anyway, so that's basically the extent of me doing a semi, like, professional makeup, like, as a job. Oh, I also did a couple makeup lessons for a couple people, again, who were my electrolysis uh, clients. And I kind of just gave them a run through, like, people who had never worn makeup before. Now I'm going to use a spoolie that's on my Wander um, eyebrow pencil. I used it all up. It's actually like a really, really good eyebrow pencil. But now I, I just like the spoolie. So I'm going to do that. Okay, I'm going to go and do my other eyebrow. So what I do is I just kind of like draw a little bit of a really light line around the bottom of my eyebrow. Go into the tail. Close that up a little bit. It's kind of hard doing it like while I'm talking. I just heard that. It's my stomach growling. I didn't eat lunch yet. And I'm kind of like having a little bit of a weird I feel like I should have like switched my knee. <laughs> it was in my knee. Um, kind of having a weird day because my daughter's sick for a couple days before Thanksgiving. So I'm a little worried about that. Um, so we just spent like the morning snuggling on the couch. She's taking her nap now. She's so congested. I have her on the baby monitor over there, so I'm I'm watching her have the sound off, of course, so you guys don't have to hear it. And then, why was it weird? So anyway, so I decided last minute I was going to rearrange my entire bedroom. And I've got one, two, three, three dressers. I've got a vanity over here. Um, I've got the giant bed. I did it all by myself. I have a guinea pig cage up there with two guinea pigs in it. I moved the whole cage without having to take the guinea pigs out. <sighs> Why I decided to do that, I don't know. I'm going to start my eyeshadow. So, I've been using, like, religiously. Where is it? Oh. Um, this is Plum Promotion by Bella Ardent. It's dirty. Fingerprints and everything. I don't know. If you can see that. Anyway, so I'm going to be starting out with this shade here, which is called Callback. And I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to take kind of a wide brush because I do have like quite a bit of eyelid space. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to start putting that in my, in my crease here and then bring it down kind of hard. Doing it on camera, this is harder than I thought, and it's harder talking. 
sometimes like my husband comes in the room when I'm doing my makeup he starts talking to me and I'm just like da -da -da -da. I'm doing my liquid eyeliner I can't talk <laughs> I can't listen because it's hard it's hard to multitask So another thing about me, I think I mentioned, I can't remember if I mentioned it, I used to have an old YouTube channel, like in my teens, and it was all about animals, and I had like 500 subscribers on that channel, which I know is not a lot, but to me, that's a lot. Like if I got 500 on this channel, I would be like amazed, because... Just to think 500 people would want to watch, I don't know. I'll be happy with like one subscriber. Or I'll say two subscribers, I'll be happy because my first subscriber is probably going to be my husband. Anyway. Um, so right now, currently, I own, or I'm a pet mom to two Dutch mix bunnies. They're adorable, I'll show you in a video. I've got a little kitten. Knocked over on the bed, so I'll show you guys him at some point in this video. He is 12 or 13 weeks old, and they have two guinea pigs, and they are adorable. I love them. Okay, anyway, so I've got that in my crease. Now I'm gonna go, excuse me, I'm gonna go in with a Glamour Dolls brush number 10. This was like, when I first started subscribing to Ipsy, this was like the, one of the first things I got. My other brush I was using was an SL Miss Glam brush. I love her brushes. I think that was one of the unicorn ones. I don't know. I'm going to take the same color and I'm just going to like deepen up the crease. Just really add a little bit more color. Get it blended in. And we're going to blend it out more when you're done so there's no like harsh lines or anything. clean that up a little bit with my real techniques brush this is a concealer brush but I just use like whatever works for me you guys should do because it's like I don't know I watch so many YouTube videos so many people are like you you can never use that product for that reason you can never use that brush everyone's different and as long as your end results come out looking cute it's like who cares so now I'm gonna go into this shade up here called Sign, Kine, C-I-N-E, I never read it before, I just normally just use it. Anyway, so I have some of that on my brush, and I'm going to take some Milani Make It Last Original, spray it. I'm going to do like a little bit of like a cut crease, so I just kind of pat and drag it on. This isn't like a real cut crease I mean in semi cut crease but I don't know I kind of just tap it out so it kind of blends onto the end blends out towards the end rather I'm gonna do the same thing but I'm gonna like flip to the other side of my brush that way I don't get like you know hard pan on my eyeshadow I mean sometimes I still do but whatever and I'm just gonna do the same thing Now this shadow, I'm not going to lie, it will start to like transfer as the day goes on. Like under your eyes and stuff. Even if you're wetting it to put it on or you put it on over like a wet concealer and pack it on for like a real cut crease. Um, it does transfer. So this is like the type of eyeshadow that maybe you don't want to put on at like 6 in the morning. You know, when you expect to wear it till 8 o'clock at night. How's this looking? Looking good, looking good, okay. Looks okay, looks good to me anyway. All right, so now I'm gonna go back in. I'll just leave that on the floor with this brush and this is a Precisions Blending Miami brush. Shanab, <laughs> I don't know if I pronounce this. <laughs> S-H-A-I-N-A-B. I'm gonna go back into the original color 
because this brush is like super tiny and I'm just gonna again use it in the crease get up in there a little above the line here just to kind of blend it in I don't know if you're seeing a difference there but now I'm gonna go into the chocolate brown shade called photo play and I just put my nail in that so that's great and I'm just gonna pack it on the corner here circular motions kind of bringing it about a third of the way on the end of my eye so anyway if anybody's even watching this video I don't know um what are your plans for Thanksgiving what's going on with you guys I'll be going to my in-laws well I might be going to my parents in the morning to watch the parade that's kind of our tradition I'm gonna go into this cream shade up here called antagonist just to blend out the edges it almost matches my skin so it's kind of good up here but yeah i'm gonna be going over there to watch the parade like i always do every year i'm not sure though it's just a lot of driving for us this year so we might cut it out and just watch the parade at home and then from there i think we're gonna go to my in-laws for dinner or i know we're going to and then we're gonna go to my grandparents um for dessert and everyone's about 45 minutes away to an hour from each other. So we'll be doing a lot of driving, a lot of driving with a little toddler. Hopefully we'll be able to squeeze a nap in there in the car. So she has a good day too. I got some stuff there, so I'm just gonna get it off. So my eyeshadow is pretty much done. I mean, it's not gonna look done until I do. I'm using the viewfinder. Until I do, um my liquid eyeliner and everything so I'm just gonna add like I said before I go back in with a little bit more concealer so again Tarte Shape Tape this time I'm not gonna put a lot at all just kind of helps with like the fallout like you know I brush them the fallout out I didn't set the concealer before so I'm talking about like the eyeshadow fallout so I just want to make sure I don't have any of like that pigment on my face and I'm just going to blend it in, pull this down again for my little line I have going there. Anyway, so what else did I want to talk about? I had like a little, a little uh, sheet here of things I thought I would talk about. So my favorite makeup YouTubers, okay, Jessica Braun, love her love her videos i'm like really inspired by her to like to uh do like sit down videos coffee chat videos just like chit chatting my other favorite youtuber definitely emily noel easily emily noel she's so she's so sweet she's so funny um and you could just tell like how much she loves makeup and i love like her style too this is my Pink Lips Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. There we go. Um, I just love their style that, you know, they'll sit and do makeup and they're, like, passionate about it. But they'll also, like, you know, talk and we hear stuff kind of like we're friends. Like, I just love that. So that's what I'm thinking for my channel. So I'm just going to press this in. Get it a little down here again to fill in that line otherwise my um concealer will crease so that's just like a little tip you know make sure you're not just laying powder under your eye make sure you can like pull it down get the crease so there's no like build up okay i'm gonna put a little around my nose a little on my chin but yeah i just want to be like old school youtube we get ready we do little reviews um review like that's another thing. I love Tati. Like, Tati is... I love Tati. I'm so glad she's back. I know she's been back for a while, but... Um, I love that she, like, reviews multiple products in one video. Like, it's not often... Again, my chair is squeaky here. It's not often she's just like, oh, this dedicated video to this one item. And I mean, I will try to do that, but I really like that she, like, throws a lot in there. And we get to see a lot from her, and I really want to do that. Anyway, blush today. No, no, no. I'm doing my eyeliner. So, I'm doing my eyeliner...
I just use the Wet n Wild, I'm reading this upside down, Breakup Proof Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This stuff, so, so good. If you have issues doing, like, your liquid eyeliner, check this out. It has, like, a really nice brush tip. Again, I'm new at this, so I don't know if you can really see. But it has, like, a really nice brush tip. It goes over, like, shimmers, because the shadow I'm wearing today is, like, very shimmery. The crease is that. Um, sometimes I put shimmer in my crease. I think it's really pretty and a lot of people hate that but i love it anyway this is so i'm like wait a second this is so good and i love it so much anyway so blush i have a lot of blush choices today um so i've been using this pure leaf bb glow but i think this is too peachy for my look today i've been using this kimchi chic blush this is in pink rose this is a really pretty one. It makes me feel girly. But I think I'm going to go with this blush today. The Milani. This is like an old Milani palette. It's broken. Oh my gosh. This is totally gone. Hit pan on this recently. I'm going to put that on. Now you might be wondering like bronzer. You're going to put bronzer. You're going to put contour. Maybe you don't care. Um, On. And the answer is no. Because I'm so white. Like, it's just so obvious that I have it on. I haven't found, like, my favorite yet. I do have an e.l.f. Um, contour uh, cream thing, bronzer, that sometimes I use. But I really only put it on if I have, like, full foundation. Sometimes if I put the BB cream on, I'll put it on. Put a lot of blush on. I love blush. Um, I put on the apples on my cheek. I have pretty high cheekbones. So I like to do the apples here. And then I drag it up into the hairline. I find that kind of looks nice on my face shape anyway. So anyway, yeah, I just don't really do a lot of bronzer. I mean, I was using it for a while, but I didn't like the way it looked in pictures. Like, I thought it looked good on, but you know, you ever do that where you put something on and you're like, oh, this looks good. This is very flattering. And then you look at pictures from like the summer or pictures from like that dinner you went out to and you're like, oh no, what was I doing? That wasn't a good idea, Morgan. Anyway, and then this is my highlighter I'm going to use. It is Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter in Pearl. And this is my second or third. No, this is my third one. It's really cool, like, consistency. I don't know if you could say. It's, like, so cool. Really cool. It's, like, creamy, buttery. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Anyway, it's, like, my third one. Oh, didn't mean to put that down there. I wore this on my wedding day. And I think it looked really, really beautiful. So I'm going to put that on the highs of my cheekbone. Blend it in. I hope this is coming out okay on camera because, you know, in real life it's looking okay. But I've, I've never done makeup, like, on myself on camera. Put a little bit, just a tad up here. Blending it in. So on my nose. I love to do a little nose highlight. Blend it in with my beauty blender. A little Rudolph. Coffee break with Danny gets like so much. Oh, coffee break with Danny. Love her. She gets so much slack for her nose highlight, but I love it. It was really popular at one point. I am sure you guys already know that. I'm going to take my small brush and now I'm going to go into this highlight here in my Natasha Denona palette. This is Glow Universal, Universal Pinkish Beige. And I'm just going to take my setting spray, which I dropped on the floor before. Spray that and I do a little bit you can see the difference it really brightens it up really opens it up it looks so good on like so many different people i love doing this like people i've done makeup for before and they're always like oh my gosh it's so cute i'm using the viewfinder to fix this how's it looking it's looking okay then i'm just gonna dab off make sure i don't have any extra i'm gonna go in underneath just what's left a tiny 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 bit on my brow bone do, 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 do. There we go 
we're just kind of brighten things up. I don't know if you can see the highlight. And last things last is mascara. If anybody watches this video, because I don't even know if anyone's going to watch it, can you tell me um, what videos you'd like to see? That'd be awesome. So let me put this mascara on. I use the Bite um, Upswing Mascara. That's this really pretty packaging. I'll show you what the applicator looks like too. It's like that nice like hourglass applicator. Really nice. Um, it gives you a lot of volume. I don't know if you can really see. And then I use my Charlotte Tilbury uh, Lip Cheat Pillow Talk. Oops, pillow Talk um, lip liner. And then I use, this is my favorite lipstick. I've bought it like so many times. Skinny Dipping Wet n Wild. This is like the matte one. Anyway, that's it. My my daughter's awake, so I have to go get her. Um, This is the finished makeup look. Hopefully it came out good on camera again. I'm like not used to um, filming. Anyway, and I'm glad. Oh, I told you I was going to show you my cat. Hold on. Paddington's doing the outro with me. The outro. Anyway, this is Paddington. He's a big boy. He's just a little baby. Yeah. So cute. He's so sleepy. <laughs> this is woke him up. Anyway, thank you for watching. I was very nervous when I first started recording this, so I'm sure it came across on camera. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you'll choose to subscribe. Hopefully this video is not too long. Anyway, thank you for watching my first Get Ready With Me. And hopefully I'll get better at it as time goes on. Bye.